Run, run. Don't give me your ribs, you're taking away. Hey, you do this move here, those guys will get you to run out of bounds. Wednesday morning, the Bearcats completed practice number 10 and reached halfway point of the 21 practices the NCAA allows them before they begin preparation for their opener against Purdue. At the halfway point, the coaches are very pleased with what they've seen so far. Great group of kids, they're working hard, they're doing, you know, they're, they're, they're putting out max effort, their legs are a little bit dead, therefore, you know, th th their minds know what to do sometimes, but their, their, their bodies sometimes can't physically get it done. So, you know, but that's just the grind of camp and we'll get them back and, and we'll get them going. At Tuesday morning's practice, Coach Tuberville brought a two-on-two -two style Oklahoma drill to the team, but for the most part, the fall camp has seen a decrease in hitting and contact compared to what they saw in the spring. The thing is that people got to understand Coach Tuberville was in the SEC for 11 years at Auburn, so that's that style, you know, so I think he's doing great. I think the kids are doing outstanding. Since early January, strength coach Joe Walker and his staff have been working on the 2013 version of the Bearcats. And they're happy because what they worked on for so long in the offseason is translating well on the playing field. They look really, really good, really excited to be here. Uh, I think our, our conditioning from the summer has really paid off for these guys, uh, especially explosion. You really, really see a great first step out of the D line and the offensive line. Linebackers are coming down here really good. Receivers are exploding off that start for, the, for their pass routes. Competition at every position is bringing an intensity to every drill as players battle for repetitions. Nowhere is this seen more than in the battle for quarterback where only one guy will leave camp as the starter. Well, I tell you, they, they're all hungry. They're all out there fighting. They all want to be out there taking snaps. And I tell you, they work really together as a group. They understand they're all rooting for whoever the guy is that's out there. And that's how we're always going to be. Because at the end, we got to get three quarterbacks ready to play this year, all three of them ready to lead us to victory. As the team continues to prepare for August 31st, the staff expects to see just what they've seen so far team that is working hard to win another championship. Oh, absolutely. They came in and Coach Walker did a great job with them uh, from a strength and conditioning standpoint. You could tell they're in shape. Um, mentally, we got a lot of stuff in uh, offensively and defensively, which is, you know, providing great work for us. But these kids are hungry. They're fighting every day. Oh, yeah. Very excited about the offense. Very excited about where we're going as an offense. And like we have about 95, 96% of the offense in right now, and there's going to be some tweaks that we're going to tweak the offense. But now we got to continue to get good at what we do, get good at what we do, and we're going to continue to do that. Hard workers, you know, great kids to be around. We're very fortunate. 